Northwestern football has been in the news more in the last three days than it has the last three years. But this offseason publicity isn't anything anyone should be proud of. Friday, it was announced that after a six month investigation by an outside law firm, evidence of hazing allegations proved to be true. The report also said it did not have sufficient evidence that the coaching staff knew of the hazing, but there was, quote, significant opportunities to discover and report the hazing. In other words, if the coaches wanted to know about it, they could have. Northwestern President Michael Schill announced some changes to the Wildcat program, which included a two week suspension for head coach Pat Fitzgerald. The two weeks were to be served right now. In early July, when nothing is going on for the football program. We in the business like to call that a Friday news dump. Nothing to see here. Have a good weekend. Well, it got much worse. On Saturday, the Daily Northwestern student newspaper ran an explosive report that included detailed accounts of the alleged hazing abuse, explicit sexual details, details that make it hard to believe they aren't true. Details that as a parent make you think, what if that was my kid being put in those sexual situations? The anonymous players interviewed by the Daily also said they believe Fitzgerald knew of the hazing rituals. The Northwestern team then responded, defended the program, released a statement saying they do not tolerate hazing. The claims are exaggerated and twisted and that coach Fitzgerald had no knowledge or involvement in the accusations. The problem with the statement is a thorough investigation was already done and evidence corroborated the hazing claims from current and former players. And when the team says exaggerated and twisted allegations, to me that means yeah, something happened, but it wasn't that bad. Not a good look. After 24 hours of public scrutiny, President Schill then backpedaled, saying he erred in weighing the appropriate sanction for Coach Fitzgerald. Schill says he focused too much on what Fitzgerald didn't know rather than what he should have known. Bingo. Fitzgerald is an icon within Northwestern athletics. Hazing allegations with supported evidence un happened under his watch inside his locker room. How much did he know? We aren't sure, but reality is he should have known. And the more evidence that comes to light, it's hard to believe he didn't know something or maybe he just didn't want to know, which is even worse. I try not to jump to conclusions when these types of reports come out. It's hard, but the details are disturbing. I find it hard to believe any college football player getting to live out his dream is going to make up sexual hazing accusations with this much detail. Pat Fitzgerald was already on the hot seat for the team's on the field performance, just four and 20 the last two seasons. Throw in the hazing allegations, and I'll be surprised if Fitzgerald is coaching the Wildcats in the fall. And to be honest, I don't think he should be.